Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and I'm peeking in to see what the rice has done in the urban worm bag with the African night crawlers. So I'm going to take a look here and see what I find. Put it right through the middle. So let's let's look. Let's see. Oh, hey, check that out. That's a worm ball, so I'm going to call the, the rice a success in here. They were happy about that rice, for sure. I don't, I don't think I've ever had an African Nightcrawler worm ball before. That's, that's pretty awesome. And it looks like it continues. So let's, let's keep digging and, and see what we've got here probably not going to purposely make rice for these guys, but geez, there's another part of the worm ball. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to say that if I want these guys to start eating more, I'm going to say that rice is definitely the way to go in this bin. Oh man, it continues. Look at that. Isn't that nuts? That is crazy. Every place I put my hand in, I can feel that it's it's squishy um, like worms, not like food. But yeah, it's totally... I don't see any rice at all. But I'm certainly seeing an enormous amount of worms. There must be something still left to eat as far as the rice goes. Eh, there's the avocados. Here's a new one. I don't think it's doing anything yet. Kind of make sure all the dry stuff on top gets a chance to get flipped over. And then... I will give them some more food. So I'm going to bury all this dry stuff so it gets a chance to stay moist where the worms are going to get at it. It does take a lot longer for the paper and the, the tamale wrappers to to get decomposed and eaten by the worms. So. I'm going to try and bury them a little bit so they stay really moist. Alright, I'm going to hear a little noise over there from the pugs. But I'm going to dig out another pit here and I'm going to give them some more food. Okay, I've got just some normal old food, normal food. Looks like some cauliflower leaves. I think I've got some celery leaves in here. More avocados. Kind of frozen from cold weather here in Illinois, but that's what they're going to get. Some avocado shells, more avocado seeds, and because it's cauliflower, I'm definitely going to make sure that's covered up because that stinks like cabbage. And that doesn't smell good at all when it gets starting to break down the sulfur in it really, really is very fragrant. But I'm going to get my mister again. Make sure that they continue to have enough moisture with the heat being on all the time. 
the urban worm bag doesn't generally lose a lot of moisture during the spring and summer, but during the winter, even even the kind of plasticky material that it's made out of does tend to still cause it to dry out a little bit. But that's all there's going to be. Um, not super exciting, but I did want to check on the rice and see what the rice was doing. Um, make sure it wasn't doing anything horrible. But uh, that's it for today. Give me a muddy thumbs up if you like the video. Press subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and a member of my worm family. And click the little bell icon if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. But that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good night.